Hi, Isabella here. First of all, thank you. Thank you to those of you who have subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. Now, I have a lot of information coming my way that I wanted to share with you and I wanted to share my perspective on it. Now, most of you know me as your travel professional, as your travel agent that you booked uh, your trip with, your group with me, and I bring that to the table, I bring that perspective, and I originally created this channel to make sure that I keep my clients aware of what's going on when it comes to the changes in the travel industry and cruising in particular but some of you did not know this I used to be a crew member yep I worked on board of a ship and I worked in the Mediterranean in the Aegean in the Caribbean gone down the Orinoco River even so yes I used to be crew and so I bring that perspective to the table and with everything that has been going on in the news lately, I can really understand that um, that perspective of a crew because uh, I used to be one. And besides being a crew member um, and understanding that, I've been working for many, many years for a wholesale travel company. So I do understand logistics. I understand operations. I understand how it all fits together. I understand the company business side, side of things because it is a business. So I will kind of try to distill all my different points of view to kind of give my perspective of what's going on and why it's happening and how this will affect your future travel. So the big question, the big question is, am I able to cruise this year or am I able to cruise next year even? Well, that really depends on you. It depends on your confidence to book that cruise. It depends on your confidence in the promises of the cruise lines that they're going to do absolutely everything possible to keep you safe, to keep you healthy and still have a good time. So yes, it depends largely on you. And second thing that they depend on, and that's a factor, is the CDC and how the CDC, the Center of the Disease Control, is going to treat the three different major players in the cruise industry, which is Carnival Corporation, Royal Caribbean, and Norwegian. And that is a big factor because CDC has just extended their no sailing date until 24th of July. And yet the cruise lines are posting on some of the websites like the Princess Cruise Line that they're going to start sailing on the 30th of June. So the dates here don't match. And let's see how this is going to work out. Or are they going to be using other ports, different ports in the Caribbean? We don't know. So yeah, I'd love to hear from you what you think is going to happen. So do leave your comments below. I'd love to see what your take is on this whole situation with the CDC and the no sale order and how the cruise lines are envisioning that start of cruising in, in June. Um, really don't know how this is going to play out. Now, what I do know is that the cruise lines are having a very difficult time right now trying to send their crew home. They're in a very uh, bad situation at the moment because the CDC does not allow them to disembark any crew, even if there's no COVID cases at all. They're not allowing them at all to disembark and fly these people home on commercial airlines. They're asking the cruise lines to send these people home on private charters and private jets. And let me just tell you that sometimes on one cruise ship, you might have 80 different nationalities. So it is a very tall order for the cruise line to fulfill, especially when you have financial difficulties already. You're trying to hold on closely to all the cash you can, and then CDC is asking you to charter private jets. It's like, really, like somebody who's bleeding and you try to stop them. It's, oh, it's really not a nice thing to do. And then they're not cooperating whatsoever. And so the cruise lines are kind of 
in a situation where they have to fend for themselves. So what they're doing, especially the Carnival Cruise Line, they're trying to gather all the ships together in one spot, whether it's in international waters and using um, the tender boats to take people from one ship to another and amass all the crews from one nation on one ship and maybe send that ship to to their home country and hope that the home country is going to take back their all citizens. And from what we see at the moment, the even the American people who are on board of the ships are not allowed to disembark in their home country in the United States, which kind of boggles my mind, even if they do provide their private bus or transportation or, or anything. They're not allowing them to do that. CDC is saying, no, you can't disembark these people here. It's very strange to me. I'd love to hear what you think about that whole situation. So, yes, leave your comments below. But that's what's happening right now. They're using their own cruise ships to get these people home. And that's going to take a long time. That's going to cost them a lot of money. Um, by the time they're going to get to their destination, especially people who are from Philippines or India, it's, it's not a good situation for the cruise line to be in. So I will see how this is going to play out when it comes to the crew getting back on board. Keep in mind that the majority of the crew is on contract basis, if not all of them. They're not fully employed all year round. They might be working for several months. Maybe they have a six month or two contracts back to back and that's it. They don't have to come back and they might not be able to come back. What if their home country is under quarantine still and they're not going to be allowing them to come back to work on the cruise ship once they get back home? That's going to be an issue for the cruise lines to get these people back to work. That is going to be difficult and that is something that they can't do without. They need their crew. Um, so yes, there's many factors here at play and I do see that the CDC is not making easy for the cruise lines to, to navigate this whole situation there. So yeah, I would love to see how this is going to play out and what your opinion about this is. Please do leave me a comment. Uh, and I would love to hear from your side of, um, of perspective on that. 